tell you about my uniform and what my emblems mean. Uh, I don't have a lot on right now. Uh, of course, my branch. Uh, this is, you know, name, rank, uh, America. And then, of course, uh, this would be my combat patch, our recon. What my patches mean, uh, more detail, I guess, is, you know, this would be my rank, you know. I'm definitely, you know, that's five, you know, um, E5, sergeant. Um, and then, you know, uh, nation, identify, that would be my unit patch, identify what unit I am in. This would be my combat patch. You get this when you go over tour. A day in the life for me right now is I balk waking up at like 5 a.m. Um, if that, I try to hide under my bed and then realize that that's not going to work out. I go and do PT. Um, usually I end up rolling around in sand and dirt, um, which I hate, but then at the end of it I feel great. And then I have the most enormous breakfast, and then I head over to uh, uh, where I'm at for the most part, and then uh, I, work on, I work on vehicles. So uh, I, uh, we do that all day. Uh, and then uh, hour and a half, uh, you know, I take chow, and then, you know, uh, you know, 1700, you know, I start to retire. Back to my barracks, I drink a ton of iced coffee, and uh, my service overseas in combat was uh, pretty cool. I was with some cool, I was with a really good unit uh, the first two times. Uh, third time, uh, not so much, uh, but that wasn't, that was still a combat zone, but not really combat. Uh, OEF, OIF, which is Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Um, so I got to pick about what license plates I want. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, for the most part, uh, I, I worked. I just worked really hard. Uh, generally, I stayed. Um, I was. I was always in a working position. You know, uh, when I did go outside the water, the wire, which is you know your forward operating base, which is a fob. Uh, I would generally just end up in you know just making sure equipment got to where it needed to be. But yeah, we saw some messy stuff. Um, you know, having to clean up the carnage and stuff like that that I've seen. Uh, seeing a world and smelling a different world is like that's something I'll never ever. Like, I, I, I can, that was, like, the greatest thing in the world. Just to be able to smell a different world and, like, live in it and to feel different air around me is something I can't explain. My favorite memory of being overseas, wow, going home. <laughs> um, uh, being on a charter flight back to the United States is probably my favorite. Just seeing, seeing our commercial uh, flight was, I, I, I lost it. Uh, this is that was uh, the the la the very last deployment I went on. Um, uh, being able to just just the camaraderie and being with my friends like on post that was the best one of the best things I would do. You know, uh, I mean we would get into fights like we just shampoo bomb each other all day, or race around in like ATVs or mules, or just knocking on random people's doors with DVDs, asking them what movies they have. Like, just that camaraderie and the zen that you kind of get in doing that. That's something I would never take back. My, my best day in the Army, I, I made sure that we had, a, we had a situation and we needed trucks and we needed trucks dispatched. And I was virtually the only guy that knew how to dispatch and, like, basically start and prepare every single vehicle and I almost did that by hand by hand virtually I had some help but like I had really high ranking officers asking me what to do